Good morning. So, oh my gosh, it's bright. No, this is better. Okay, I'm staying in my friend's apartment, my friend Africa. Hi Africa, hi Doug, hi Biggie. That's their little dog, but none of them are here right now. Uh, they're in New Jersey and they let me crash here. Africa was supposed to have a package delivered this morning. It's not here yet, um, a Saqqara Life package and I was gonna bring that food to work with me. I'm gonna give it one more try in a few minutes. I'm gonna check to see if it's here or not, but it wasn't here about half an hour ago. But regardless, it's been really nice staying in here. It's a beautiful apartment. I'm getting ready to go to Las Vegas, one of my favorite layovers, and I'm probably going to rent a car. I have a few errands I need to run. One of my banks is out there. Uh, Wells Fargo there isn't one in Boston and I need to go to a Best Buy uh, And I don't know maybe I'll drive out to I don't know maybe Death Valley Maybe I don't know we'll see I have all day to drive around and I kind of just want to be out where there's nothing but space um, I'm working with a crew well one of the crew members. I really really love uh, Carolee she's amazing and we'll see if she wants to get dinner or something, but yeah, that's really it. I'm super excited. I'm extra, extra grateful today going on this trip. Um, last week, American furloughed a lot of their flight attendants and um, in my crash pad, we have a lot of United girls too and they're also being furloughed and it really breaks my heart. Watching, hearing them talk about it in the crash pad and watching the YouTube videos, it it totally breaks my heart it's really freaking sad i can't imagine losing my job right now um or just being you know indefinitely put on hold i cherished this job so much and i go i have my days when i complain about it and over dumb things just small inconveniences but I would be devastated if it was taken away. So I am extra, extra grateful today that I am going to work. I don't care how crazy the customers are, how long the flight is, even if it gets delayed, I really hope it doesn't, but I'm just grateful. All right, I am requesting my Uber. I'm like in a little bit of frantic energy because I'm so behind, but the package came. Africa got her little hat. Let's see what is in here. I'm not gonna have like any room for this stuff, but I'm gonna try to take a few things with me. I kind of need a little bag. They've got all this dry ice in here. Oh my God, let me see. Sexiest salad in NYC. Okay, I'll be taking that one. <laughs> uh, fennel pasta, that sounds amazing. Summer sun salad, black garlic barbecue burger. Maybe I want that one. Oh my goodness, rose water pistachio muffin. Um, I'll take that with me too. <laughs> I literally need a little bag. Uh, sunset soup, coconut praline granola, whatever this little antioxidant cacao milk. Ooh, focus, yes, I'll be taking that. My Uber is literally like here. And then a corn muffin, oh my God, yes. I need to take all of this stuff. Well, not all of it, I'm gonna take most of it. It all looks freaking amazing, but I have to go because my Uber is gonna be here. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
definitely won't move around with the All right, I am in my Las Vegas hotel. I have a beautiful view of the parking garage, but that's okay because I have a car that I am parking here that I have to go pick up right now. And it's so weird driving past the strip. There's like scattered people here and there. The airport was a hot mess though. So crowded, people everywhere, people bumping into each other. It was honestly the busiest airport I've seen since the pandemic started. But my hair is a mess. Um, I'm going to eat a snack, get dressed, go pick up my car, and start my errand. Oh my God. Oh. So, I just got my car. For starters, the people in this budget, <laughs> budget rental, I mean, I don't know what, what I'm expecting, were so freaking weird. They were kind of rude. I walk in there, there's six people standing behind this desk with the plexiglass. And I go in there and I'm like, hi. And everyone just kind of stares at me and they all like slowly disperse to their chairs as they're staring at me. And so I just start to walk up to this like big wraparound counter and I don't know who to go to or which one to walk to. There's no one in line or anything. The place is empty and they're all just staring at me and I'm like, who who do I talk to? And they're still staring at me. So I'm like, I go up to a woman and she's like, oh no, not me. And the woman's like, me over here. And not one, did they even say hello to me. Two, like, how am I supposed to just psychically know which one of the six of you I'm supposed to walk up to? Anyway, <sighs> the whole process was so weird. She was like, what's your last name? Holding my ID as she's reading it and then she was like, at, still, still staring at my ID, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 28. And then it was just the weirdest freaking thing and bothered the hell out of, I don't know. She was at the end though, she was like, I gave you a free upgrade. I was like, thank you. Cause I think she knew at this point I was just kind of annoyed. And she was like, I also, I let you pick it up an hour later. And I was like, thank you. Like I have to get a flight before my, I have to return this anyway. So it doesn't even matter, but whatever. I have my car now. It's actually brand new. She said it was like a brand spanking new car. It's this little, I don't know. It's, I just booked regular economy because I wasn't planning on doing anything crazy, but this little Nissan something or other. And I'm across the street. I don't know if you can see it very well. From a New Orleans themed hotel. It's called the Orleans. I don't know if you can see that little Alligator, no, you probably can't. I wish I could get a better shot. I could pull in there, but how did I not? Someone's laying on their horn. How did I not know that there is a New Orleans themed hotel in Las Vegas? New Orleans is my favorite city in the world. Las Vegas is one of my favorite cities in the world. It looks, it's definitely not five stars. So we'll just put it that way, but it's kind of cool. It's like if like a Disney World version of New Orleans. Anyway, my camera's gonna overheat. I gotta go to Best Buy. Hello, I'm back at the hotel. I wanted to eat a salad really quick before I go back out. It's still a little like bright and hot out outside, so I should be done with this around four and I'm gonna head back out. Maybe I'll head out at five, I'm not really sure. I want to be there like at dusk at Valley of Fire. This salad is actually really good. It's the burrito salad something from Saqqara. Super yummy. By the way, I'm going to put a um, discount code down below for my friend. She She's an affiliate with them and so she has like a discount code if anyone's actually interested in getting this stuff. I recommend it. This is my first time trying their food and it's really good. I am not, obviously I like have like hardly any followers and making any money from it, but I genuinely like this food. I'm not just saying it because. So yeah, I'll be back on the road in a minute.
and here is Tay. Well, that sucks. It's close. I just drove an hour and a half out here. The ride was beautiful, so that makes it a little bit worth it, but I wish I, I, I guess I should have looked it up. I mean, it didn't say on Google Maps that it was closed, but that's okay. I'm going to go back to Valley of Fire now. Damn, I'm kind of sad. I was looking at the river down below because that's where I would be going and it just looked so freaking cool and beautiful and all I could think was I want to put my feet in that river because it just looks like it's so refreshing. It's so freaking hot out here. But I guess I'm going to do a Yui and go to Valley of Fire which is 45 minutes away from where I am now back towards Vegas. But hey, at least it's pretty. So, I'm not at Valley of Fire. I missed my turn, I missed the exit. And for whatever reason, when you miss the exit coming back from north, to, from, like back to Vegas from the Valley of Fire, it takes 30 minutes to get back to that exit. There is nowhere, nowhere to turn around down the highway for 15 minutes so 15 minutes down and then you're finally able to turn them 15 minutes back and the sun was already going down it's so pretty now it's behind the mountains now but I would have totally like missed my moment that I wanted to see like I would have totally missed that dusk pinkish purple hour here in the desert that I love so much at first I thought okay like maybe should I go back and then I was just like no there's no way I instead am going to wake up early tomorrow really early hopefully I got to look up what time sunrise is and then just enjoy sunrise during that hour instead of dusk and then I'll just go get like a coffee or a matcha coffee place I, I was like getting really worked up over it I'm like I can't believe I missed that I'm so sad I ruined this layover blah 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 no I didn't I just readjusted my mindset looked at the positive side okay now I can get back early I can get in and out because I'm really hungry now and I can go to sleep early and then enjoy the morning here which I love the morning more anyway it's cooler out there's less people but let's just hope this line goes quickly because I suddenly really have to go to the restroom Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. You too. They're so freaking nice. Good morning. Okay. So, I am headed out to Red Rock. I can see a tiny bit of glow in the sky so I'm really excited about that it's gonna get dark oh ooh, there we go I'm really excited about that the Sun is gonna come out as I'm walking out of my hotel room this morning I see a lady of the night being picked up <laughs> it was like very obvious too she had like her little suitcase with all her stuff and then her little outfit and yeah but I love Las Vegas. This place is so wild. This morning when I woke up, I didn't know where I was. Again, this always happens to me. Well, I mean, not always. It happens every now and then. But I, I woke up and it was really dark in my room and I did not know where I was. I was like, I'm not in Boston. I'm in LA. And I don't know why I just kept thinking, I'm in LA. I'm in LA. And then I realized, no, I'm not in LA. Where am I? And when do I have to go to work? What time is my show? Do I need to be getting up soon? I have like a panic. Oh, am I sleeping in too late? And it, it took a while for it to come back to me this time. It took a while for me to figure out where the hell I was. But I finally like it started to piece together and then I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I'm in Las Vegas. I work. I'm going to go 
see Red Rock in the morning and I have a van time at 9.30. Like, geez, this is my life. It, it's, I think it's because I don't technically live anywhere right now. I am moving into an apartment. Hopefully uh, there's this one we really want in October. So, October 1st. So, it's just crazy. But I, I'm like literally like a f little bubble floating around, a little jellyfish floating around from place to place. This is why I will always be so grateful for this job. But I can just casually have a morning out here, hiking by myself. I think it's like just now six o'clock. And looking at this freaking sunrise. Everyone's so nice here, a bunch of bikers went by, like mountain bikers, and they all say, hi, good morning. I feel like I can breathe out here and it doesn't it it said last night it was gonna be like 80 degrees and it's not it's cool this is the stuff that I miss so much and that I'm so grateful for I could never be one of those flight attendants that just sit in their hotel room at every layover and then like wonder why they're depressed like how can you really be that depressed when like all of this I mean depression is real but I'm just saying Give yourself a fighting chance and come out here. I find it very hard to be upset out here. coffee place was so sick the madhouse coffee I was like lurk I was looking so hard last night to find a good coffee place and I couldn't find anything that looked remotely decent in Vegas it was just a bunch of chains um, except oh shit I'm making a mess except this one spot called cowgirl coffee and it's basically like stripper coffee shop which I actually really wanted to go to that sounded pretty sick to me so I was like ooh why don't I just go there but then I'm like no that's something I would rather do like with friends and just because it'd be fun but um, I found this place instead the madhouse coffee if you're in Vegas and you have access to a car come here um, they have oat milk <laughs> I got a latte and I always forget when I get a latte like the coffee to milk ratio I like it to be a little bit strong I wasn't really drinking coffee lately but I've got a long day ahead of me flying back to Boston I mean it's not too bad but anyway so when you go into the bathroom there you literally feel like you're in a rave oh uh, yes that is the color I want my latte to be look madhouse coffee some of their cups, I was kind of hoping I got one of the other ones. Some of their cups have like, it's like a picture of two girls making out. It's 
very scandalous, like risque. It's a very sexual sticker, but I thought it was cool. But I got this little puppy with a mask on and wings. I am about 45 minutes behind schedule returning the car and um, getting gas and all that. So I have to go do that right now. And then I have to go back to the hotel and get ready for work. Well, what was a little bit of a, I don't know, emotional roller coaster yesterday turned into an incredible layover today, this morning. Like, even though, I don't know, yesterday was just a weird day, but this morning just completely made up for everything. So I keep looking up at myself in the viewfinder and make sure my hair's not crazy before I go to work. I'm on like a caffeine high right now. But I really, really love Vegas. Uh, and I, I rem I'm reminded of that every time I come here. And I love like all of it. It's really weird. I love the strip downtown. I love um, old Vegas. I like the weirdness of it. I like the random, oh, my battery's gonna die. The random theme cafes out in the middle of nowhere. Um, not cafes, casinos. And I also love the incredible nature and landscape like Red Rock, Valley of Fire the air, the dry heat, I love all of it. I'm just obsessed with this place and I'm so grateful that I get to have layovers like this. I need to hurry up before this, it ended up dying on me. <laughs> but anyway, my name's Vera. I'm flying back to Boston today. I am on Instagram and I post a lot of, I don't know, day-to-day -day stuff, health tips, what I eat in the day, things like that on my Instagram and just random little pictures and whatnot. Um, that's at Balanced Flyer and Go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment to tell me what you enjoyed and what you would like to see next. I love filming these videos and I have more to come. Also, I need to get on a consistent schedule with fil like filming these and uploading these because I'm kind of all over the place right now. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.